Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nathan Too Easy Megstead, and I'm our esports director here at Emory and Henry College. And got a video for you guys today. I'm playing some Fall Guys. It's a great game. I'm really popular right now, and so kind of a little bit of a how-to video. Um, didn't actually think I was gonna possibly succeed, but you have to watch to the end to see if I actually come out victorious or not. Um, but just a few tips and tricks for you guys. Um, if you guys haven't followed us on YouTube yet, please like this video um, and subscribe. Um, also, if you want to follow us on social media, we're at um, EAHC, so Emory and Henry College Esports, um, on Twitter, on Instagram. Um, you can email us at uh, esports at ehc.edu. Hope you enjoy the video. And we'll see you guys next time. All right, let's do it. <coughs> One more game here. All right, whirly gig here. Let's see if I can get a first place on this one. So this one here is pretty easy to qualify on if you know the tricks. I'll give you guys a few tips and tricks and we'll see if I can get a first place out of this one. So it looks like I'm starting, I guess in here it doesn't really matter if you start in the front or the back. Um, I'm on the front right side, which is okay. So typically, you can jump over these things, or you can decide to get hit by them. Um, in this case, I'm going to jump over because I'm in the front. Um, if I was on the side, I would probably get hit by it. But these guys all got hit by it. They're doing great. Um, so here's the first tip. When you get up here, you want to get to the top, jump, and dive. And then you don't have to go on the cheese blocks. Um, going through here, I always want to try and dive through that part. If you dive and spam A, you'll get up quicker. Um, this part here, if you dive towards the top, um, you won't fall over here. And then this part right here, you want to go to the left side. Wait till you're about to the top, dive, well, then you get smoked sometimes. But I'll try it again here. A lot of times you can get through. I'm going to make sure there's nobody beside me here. See, so I dove right through there, and now I'm through. And then, of course, right here, you just want to be patient. Wait for your turn. Right now it's wide open, so I'm going to go for a dive. And looks like we're through. Nice fourth place. See how everybody else does here. Sometimes a lot of people will go around. That's totally fine too. The key is just if you can make this jump at the end and being patient for the windmill to be open. I think we got our last few guys here. And we're qualified. All right, so we're back on gate crash here. Last time I got first place on this one. Give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get through gate crash. So once again, it doesn't really matter where you're at in this one. If you're front middle, sometimes you can go to the front into the middle, but I'm on the right side here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go first to the right, for sure. So this is gonna drop down. A lot of times I don't like to jump on this stage because you can trip over other people. Always be paying attention to which ones are going down. So right here, I'm gonna wait, go to the left. Uh, the, in this part, the middle two doors are always the best two to go through because the other two side doors don't always go. Here, same as always, just watch and see. On this part here, you want to go whenever you're at the top of the slime, you want to line it up with whichever one you want to go through, that that door is at the top. So if you're at the top of the slime and the middle door is at the top, I suggest you go through the middle. Um, and same for the sides. Because that way it's on its way down as you're going down as well. Okay, so we got rock and roll. So this one is uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, the best path, of course, is right in between these little uh, circles here. Um, one key on the pole section is you don't want to get stuck on the right side or the left side in the corner. So here I'm not sure if diving is the best or pushing. Typically I just will push it. 
myself with the teammates. Uh, and this part doesn't really matter as much. You just want to stay in the middle here. Like we got a great line right here. It's not going over too much of the stuff. So now we're going to go through here. We want to go to the right a little bit. Perfect. Um, and now we can go on the side here. So we're on the side here pushing. We're doing a great job. We want to make sure you have enough guys to get it over. Now the key here, this blue guy is going to try and stop us here. Always grab the people that are trying to go in front of you. Um, if you grab the guys that are trying to go in front, you'll pull them out of the way and then your ball will roll. So right here we got an easy first place. Wave goodbye to everybody. See you later. And we're on to the next round. We've got 20 remaining. On to round four. So we're playing block party again. Um, on this one here, um, you just gotta make sure, it's pretty easy throughout. Um, you just gotta make sure on the jumping section you don't get caught in the moving platforms. Um, a lot of times you guys can get locked in there and then you're pretty much done. <laughs> so, looks like we're going for two minutes. I like to stay kind of in this front part here so I can see what's coming. I'm not too far in the back. Nice little easy one here. Some people like to grab on this. So I like to go, as soon as the first one goes, I go across to where the first one went, back to the center. And I'm gonna go to the right. A lot of people are grabbing me here, but that's kind of how it goes in this game when there's a lot of people. Always stay in the middle if you can. It can be more crowded, but um, a lot of times you can force your way through. So you get through, back to the middle. We're here, back to the middle. The guys are trying to grab me. <laughs> Again, so nobody has been eliminated so far. I'm not exactly sure what game we can do for a final with 19. In these parts here, you gotta be really careful, right? You wanna jump, make sure that you clear the barrier. If you get stuck on it, it'll slide you away. Even if you fall over, jumping over it, you can get up in time to clear the barrier. See, I just fell over here, I'm good, I'm up. Ready to roll. Run over here. Good to go. This will hopefully be one of the last barriers. I'd say there's two more. This one here, and then typically they do one in the middle that's really skinny. And this will send us to the last phase. This part, you just gotta do what you gotta do. I always try to be through as soon as I get past it, I'm moving on to the next side. People will get in your way and you gotta push and fight all the way through. Looks like this is the last one. I'm getting drug away. Survive. Oh, just survived. <laughs> a little dive there at the end and got lucky. So 14 remaining. Um, I don't know what we'll play. Maybe a jump showdown, potentially. Hexagons, of course, as a lot of people usually. Um, Fall Mountain is up to 15, so I'd say it's probably one of those three games. All right, so we are on jump showdown here. So jump showdown is pretty simple. Obviously, the key is to make sure that you are not, um, you're not jumping when the t bottom and the top are together. So they're spinning at separate um, speeds. So what I like to do is I like to get ahead of the curve. So I'll actually a lot of times run into the into the jump here. See, so it's going to go early. Then of course here the platforms are also falling out. You want to make sure you're on the side with the most. So whenever I see an opportunity to make it, I go. Right now they're in between. They're always opposite of each other. I'm going to go here again. Nice and safe. I also don't like to be around a ton of people on this one just because they can mess you up if you fall. So far everyone's still in the game. So here I'm going to go early so I don't want to get stuck in the back here. Potential for that to be at the same time like Wolf Guy almost just got hit here. Now I'm going to wait here. I always like to be in the front though on this one because you can always run backwards and possibly make a save but if you have no more real estate to go you're in trouble like right here i'd say this one's going to take a few people out at least took out one so now we are down to two platforms everyone is on this one platform 
I'm tempted to go jump over here to be by myself and not have to deal with everyone else. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens. So this one's going to be late. I'm going to jump here. If this wasn't moving so fast, I'd probably chance it and try and run over there. Um, this one's early. So this will take a few out. Yep. <laughs> now we're down to three. So this one's going to be a little bit late. I'm going to wait and jump. This one's early. Late again. These ones are pretty easy right here. Oh, this is going to be a late one. Almost lost her there. Um, early, early, early. Yeah, I made it through. One guy down. Just me and one guy left. This is gonna be a... Oh, I think I missed it. Oh, I got lucky. I dove through. I always get so intense at the end, you know? This guy almost fell here. Alright! Just like that. Easy victory. And just like that. You're in the winner's circle. I like Jump Showdown a lot. That's one of my better rounds for sure, but that's how you win a fall, guys. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, hope you take some tips and tricks. Um, I guess I'd probably say I got pretty lucky there, but always happy to get a win. So um, if you haven't followed us on uh, Emory & Henry Esports pages, um, please give us a follow. We're on YouTube at Emory & Henry Esports, at all of our other platforms, Twitter, uh, Instagram, we're at E and H C Esports. And yeah, thanks for watching.